Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is Rich, your Maryland Delaware Realtor. And uh, just wanted to make a quick video while I'm on the road here. I wanted to talk about a uh, question that I get a lot from buyers and sellers that I'm helping with here by the beach. So the question is a bayside or ocean side? My answer to that usually when I'm walking, it really depends uh, what you're trying to do and what's uh, best for you and your family and what you're gonna get the most use out of. Of course, if you're more uh, beach people, you know, you're gonna be using the beach a lot. Obviously, you know, I would recommend being over on the ocean side, you know, ocean block or of course, you know, direct ocean front's always great too. Um, you know, less steps to the beach that you have there. Of course, you know, Bayside, I would say if you want a boat, that's why most people actually want a, a property on the Bayside. You know, they get something that's canal front that where you have water access and um, you can have a boat lift, have your boat there. Uh, another reason too is I've noticed a lot of clients, they, um, they don't necessarily, uh, necessarily plan on having a boat, um, but they want to be on the water. You know, they, they could throw like a, a kayak or a paddleboard in there, easy access, go paddle uh, and, and do their thing. The other thing that they can do is actually rent the boat slip out and create some extra income for that. Because uh, something that's water access like that with things to do, like a kayak or paddleboard, uh, it, it does help with your rentals. Um, and of course, you know, Oceanside, they all rent pretty well, again, because uh, that's one of the main draws is actually going to the beach. Um, so that's the main thing I, I would say that kind of help you uh, make a decision on that. The other thing that I would think of too is, you know, depending on Maryland or Delaware side, especially Maryland, there's a lot more condos on the ocean side. And there, there's some single family homes and some town homes, but not that many. Uh, but on the Bay side, you're gonna have a lot more options for like, say if you want a detached single family home, maybe with a yard and maybe a little bit more of a neighborhood feel that you could ride bikes, uh, you know, with the kids or whatever it may be. Um, but there's also condo and townhome options on the Bay side. That's, that's another thing maybe to think of. Um, amenity wise there, uh, you know, a pool is a big thing, which you could find that on the ocean side or Bay side. It's a lot more common on the Bay side, but there are buildings that have a pool at, um, a, an actual dedicated pool, uh, for like an ocean block, uh, building or a lot of your high rise, bigger buildings will have a, a definitely have a pool, uh, indoor or outdoor. That, there you have it. Hopefully that brings a little bit of clarity. Anything um, I would suggest too that may help you make a decision, like I said, if it's been a while since you've been in the area, um, or even if you maybe have rented it before, maybe you, you rent it uh, an ocean block or direct ocean front place, I would suggest maybe coming into town for a week, you could rent a Bayside place. Uh, even maybe for a couple days, you could hop around, do a couple different uh, Airbnbs, you may just have to plan that out because I know they book up pretty fast, but that might give you an idea, get the feel of it. Um, of course, while you're here, you could always uh, take a day and, and bike uh, and you know, bike over to the Bayside and check it out, hang out for a little bit or bike over to the uh, ocean side. And again, just check out the neighborhood, maybe different times of, of the day. And that may give you a little bit more of a feel. So, you know, it is a big decision because you're committed once you do it. But uh, really, either side, I don't think you can go wrong because you can access both sides really easily. Um, but I, I would just say the number one thing is how you plan to use it, what's, what's going to give you the most enjoyment out of it. And of course, if you're you know, looking at rental numbers, you might want to look at that set up too with some amenities and some options for extra income, um, maybe renting out that boat slip or uh, getting that direct ocean front place, which that all comes down to just looking at numbers, which I, I could help you uh, with that when you get to that, to that point. You know, if this uh, video has helped you out, make sure that you click like and subscribe and uh, you know, that, so that you don't miss any of my contact that I come out with uh, every week. And again, if you need help, my contact information is right down below. I'd uh, love to talk with you, whether you're buying or, or selling. I'd uh, be happy to help you out or answer any questions that you may have. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.